Hey, hello, friends. Welcome again to this session on gems of geometry. And today we are going to discuss another very interesting theorem. It's called Morley's trisector theorem. Now, I have spent a good amount of time constructing this diagram first before you, you know, uh, get to understand what's Morley's trisector theorem. Let me just show you what went behind this construction. So if I just show you, this is the total construction, so don't get um, bogged down by the construction which I have done. It's uh, basically to trisect an angle and that too thrice. That means there are three angles, so I have trisected all the three angles of the uh, given triangle. So let me just hide it so that it becomes clear to you. So I have hidden everything which is, uh, you know, the part of the construction which is not required for the proof. And I have used uh, the functions of hyperbola and uh, trisection of a line segment to trisect the angle. That's another thing how I did it. Probably I'll have to dedicate one full session on how to trisect a given angle uh, through construction. Okay. So now let me tell you what exactly is this theorem about. So Morley's trisection, trisection or trisector theorem says that uh, abc is a given triangle okay and you trisect all the three vertices a b and c so you can see i have trisected angle a angle b and angle c the values of the angles have been given over here i hope you are able to see it for example here it is 22.97 it is 21.51 at angle a and 15.52 degrees at angle b and uh, what i have done is so you take the trisect you know the point of intersection of the trisectors um in an order for example the first one here and the first one here they are intersecting here this point j1 and the trisector this one this one here k1 b and k1 c is intersecting at k1 and trisector c i1 and a i1 is intersecting at i1 so these are the three points of intersection of the uh, trisectors taken one and you know at a time pair of them at a time and once you get this triangle interestingly this triangle is an equilateral triangle and that is what is Morley's trisector theorem so uh, what is it once again a triangle is there abc you have trisectors drawn for each of the three uh, angles and uh, let them intersect so the first trisector here is intersecting the other trisector of the other angle at j1 similarly k1 and i1 and you join k1 j1 i1 and it will always be a equilateral triangle. That is what was uh, given by Frank Morley. Um, I think somewhere in later part of 19th century. So the proof is also very interesting. But uh, this session, in this session, we are on, I'm only going to validate it. Now the validation might look a little ugly because you know at times the moment I change the positions of B and C, uh, the figures might get degenerate points and hence you know because hyperbolas and other you know uh, tools have been used can you see that there are three pairs of hyperbolas which i have drawn so it might so happen that um, you know some points are missing so hence you can see some weird diagrams but let us try anyways to validate it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the point b and c right so these are variable points and let's see what happens so let me take this point b yeah you can see the points are missing at times but then never mind we will get something okay so here yeah i got oh i had just got one over there uh, 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 so difficult to find out one yeah here again oh i just missed it once again so you can see yes is this another position where i'm getting this you know, um, see the the construction of trisector of an angle was really a tedious job, and um, you know if you go through the construction, you will realize that it might so happen that the points of intersection which is there in the background uh, are not real point, and hence you see some kind of weird figures in the middle. But then again, I have drawn another triangle, so this is another position where ABC is a triangle with all the you know the trisectors there so 23.96 18.35 and 17.68 these are three angles or uh, in a 
uh, trisected angles that is and again you can see this is 60 degrees the angles made here is 60 degrees let me change point c a bit and see what happens so let me take it to yeah i had got one inter yeah and intermittent points yeah, you can see lots of yes once again i got another one so this is also where uh, the three trisectors are intersecting and you get a equilateral triangle so so now in this construction it is becoming a little difficult to show you that every time you change the orientation of the triangle you will get an equilateral triangle because of the construction which i had done right so if i have a very you know uh, or let's say a better way of trisecting an angle maybe then uh, you will see a smooth transition and you can see uh, a lot of processing is anyways happening the moment i am changing one point so you can see what's there okay behind so this is what the construction was like it was you know i have uh, kind of put everything in the background so you got to see only this one correct so uh, in the next session we'll try to prove this theorem that will be a really interesting proof so uh, in this uh, session i wanted to just show you that what morley's trisector theorem is now i hope you understood it so there are three trisectors um two trisectors each of each uh, vertex uh, angle of the triangle and then they meet at three points the three points when joined form an equilateral triangle always okay so this proof and a little bit of more on the properties of uh, this particular theorem in terms of you'll see that few points lie on a circle which all points i will explain in the proof of Morley's trisector theorem. So see you again. Thank you.